It is hard to believe it has been almost 30 right? years since Tim Allen first donned the Santa suit. Yes, you know what I'm talking about. He's back for season two of his hit series, The Santa Clauses. And Lara Spencer sat down with him and his daughter and co-star Elizabeth Allen Dick to talk about the new season, family traditions, and whether we'll, we'll ever see Tim pick up his home improvement tool belt again. Merry Christmas to all. And to all a good night. Donning the red hat and suit, actor and comedian Tim Allen has been Santa Claus for nearly 30 years. How do I look? Starring in three movies and now a series on Disney+. Plus. Here we go, come on! And it's now a family affair. His real-life daughter, 14-year-old Elizabeth, playing Santa's daughter, Sandra, in the series The Santa Clauses. You're a Claus. Here we are again talking about a character that we all know and Santa love. Santa Claus. This is a real family affair. Do you enjoy acting? I do. I just had a blast. It, it did not feel like work. What is it like to see your dad in this new way as sort of a colleague now? It was just so amazing. It was fun. It was emotional. It was just like so many feelings at once. What is it like seeing your little girl act next to you? It wasn't intended. She auditioned and it was one of those moments I kept going, wow, where'd that come from? <laughs> the 14-year-old already seems to be an acting ace making her accomplished father proud. There was a very emotional scene. Sandra didn't want to leave the North Pole. I'm really scared, Dad, of, of humans, of anywhere that's not here. And I was looking at my daughter, Santa's daughter, and then it was Tim's daughter, and it was an amazing scene. It would be one of those moments in my life that yeah. you'll always remember it. The series takes place nearly 30 years after the original film, bringing to light some questions the original left unanswered. Hey, you! No one ever asked why, when Santa slipped off the roof in the first one, how come no one cared? Right. We got up to the North Pole, and I was like, okay, get in, get in that thing. Put on the suit that clearly falls under the Santa Claus, and now you're Santa, okay? No one said it would. Did so Mrs. do we Claus? answer these pressing questions? Yes, and then it's not an accident how I became Santa Claus. It's a magic thing. And then cut two, he has children. They're the first human children ever born at the North Pole. I'm going to do this with my team. Now in its second season, Santa wants to pass the reins to the Claus kids, but they may not be ready to take over Christmas just yet. Sandra, this is a family business, and I want you to be in charge of the reindeer. Oh, yes! GMA getting an exclusive sneak peek into episode five before its release on November 29th. And Cal, I'm gonna ask you to help me deliver the eggs. No, 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 it's gonna be exciting. It's a good opportunity. You get to experience what it's like to go in people's homes while they're sleeping and just drop stuff off. You know, instead of packages, though, it's Easter baskets. But you get to feel what Santa feels. You added some really big names this year. Mm -hmm. Tracy Morgan. Mm -hmm. I'm a poet, and I didn't even realize it. The first time I met him, he was like, all the makeup was on. So he was like in full Easter Bunny gear, except he had his regular clothes on. So, and I was like, okay. She had to yeah. go to a shrink. It's hilarious. <laughs> and then another name I was excited to see was Eric Stone Street. The Santa who occupies the North Pole now is a fraud. His name in the series is Magnus Antis. And we wanted a name that sounded like Mad Santa. And as for Christmas, for this Claus family, Christmas must be really special at your house. <laughs> Do you get into it? I, we get oh, into yeah. it. A Christmas story is our yes. favorite. Yes. Okay. I love that. And then White Christmas. Yeah. The father-daughter duo also reminiscing about some heartwarming holiday traditions. We feed homeless people at the Laugh Factory it's on Sunset. Nice. And literally, it's one of the best parts of our Christmas. It's just special to me to be able to help other people, especially on Christmas. And after the holidays, Alan is back out hitting the road. If we go straight on this road, do we hit I-94? Hoping to slay on his comedy tour. You're doing comedy. I actually haven't stopped doing comedy until we go back and go on the road and on a touring circuit. Alan has, of course, also made a name for himself in the world of sitcoms over the years, lighting up the small screen on Home Improvement, playing Tim the Toolman Taylor. Oh, you didn't soup up a TV counter, did you? That way it just pop up quicker. Let's talk Home Improvement. Is there a chance that we might ever see you in that glorious role again? We all love the idea, and that it, it always gets stuck with the next, the next thing. Well, then you got to make it happen. All so of us. So you're open to it. Oh yeah, that's awesome. That's great to hear. Okay, now for a little candy cane quick fire fun. Favorite right. Christmas song? Do they know it's Christmas by Band Aid?
and dad. The drummer boy. Wrapping gifts or gift bags? Wrapping gifts. Gift bags, I can't wrap. I brought you some cocoa. Eggnog or hot cocoa? Hot cocoa. Hot cocoa. Extra chocolate. Shake it, not stirred. <laughs> Thanks to Lara for that. Season two of The Santa Clauses is streaming on Disney+. Plus. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.